Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create tab layout using view pager 2 and fragment state adapter. As you know, fragment pager adapter is now deprecated. So in this video, we are going to create a tab layout with all latest methods and believe on me, we are going to do all things in just 10 line of code. If you start adopting new things, then you will realize how easy to work with new things in Android and you will able to create a tab layout with view pager and swiping and clicking tabs with just 10 lines of code believe on me only 10 lines so first of all let's see a demo what we are going to make so for this I have to open my phone so I open my phone and uh, I think this one is and this is the application tab layout which we are going to create so you can see by default i am home on home fragment and if i click on movie now i am on movie fragment and i can swipe between them so you can also swipe and you can also click to move between fragments so we are going to create this so don't further delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe our channel then please subscribe our channel for android development content daily so now let's start the video so for this first of all open your android studio and after opening android studio i am creating a new project to show you so new new project and now i click on empty activity click on next and from here just give any name so i simply give the tab layout tutorial you can give any name it is your choice and i am using java you can use kotlin java it is your choice then after this it will going to take some time to be finished now Gradle is building so it may take some time to build so Gradle will build successful now we are ready to write the code so first of all what we need in our tab layout we need two fragments so it is obvious we, we have a two tab so it, it is your choice how many tabs you want so now for this we have to create two fragments so right click on your packing name then new and then you have to click on fragment and then you have to click on fragment blank and from here you can give any fragment name it is your choice so I am giving first fragment name is fragment home click on finish so it will going to create this fragment and now inside this fragment what I need I don't need these methods if you are working with a project then you can then you maybe need these but for now I don't need this I just need this on create view this is the most important method of the fragment on create view everything is going to done inside this you can see it is inflating fragment home so I now come inside your fragment home and simply set the this is the frame layout so i can set gravity center so you can see it is set successfully here and instead of this string i can type here simply home and uh, now i can set the text size otsp and text color black and text style bold it is your choice whatever you want to give them or, or it is completely depend on you and now you can give any background color it is your choice so i think it is better to give a background color here to make a clear cut differentiating of fragments so hashtag b5 ffce so it is fine now this fragment is created successfully now what we need we need one more fragment of for our movie so i simply copy this Control c copy then again paste on paste it here and simply give any different name so i give here movie fragment that's it now you also need to copy the layout file so copy this layout file paste on layout and the name of this fragment underscore movie according to your java class name you can see it is also created successfully now inside movie fragment i have to inflate the movie that's it and inside fragment movie this is the fragment movie and here i have to inflate context movie fragment so movie fragment that's it and you can change the title so i give a title here movie and here i need to give the different color so the color code is a 5 d f f f i think this one so it is fine now both fragments are created successfully so you can see fragment creation is very easy now we have to write the main code so simply come inside your activity main xml file and click on split delete this text view and we are going to use view pager 2 inside our application and also our tab layout so first of all i set the relative layout and now press enter so first of all what i need here i need a tab layout so i simply type, type here tab layout com.google.android.material this one tab layout and then you have to set the layout with match parent height wrap content 
then you can give any tab indicator color i give the tab indicator color white give a background black and then after this i simply give any id so i give the id here tab layout and then tab selected text color so i simply set this also white and then we have to give a tab text color this is that color which is not selected so i first select here from here black and then i can change the color whatever i want so i think this color is fine so this is done now close this so this tab is created successfully and i am not going to create any item because i am going to attach the tab items on runtime dynamically so we will you will going to also learn how to do this thing now below this what i need i need a view pager so i simply type here view pager this is view pager 2 we are going to use this match parent match parent and id of this is view pager and then then below where we need layout below tab layout so now our view pager is placed here successfully you can see this is our view pager this is our tab layout that's it the work of activity main xml file is finished now for managing the tabs what we need we need a view pager adapter hope you understand in previous method we also need an adapter but right now the things are getting changed and there are less number of code very less number of codes to do these kind of things so right click on your package name then new then you have to click on java class give any class name so i simply give here view pager fragment adapter you can give any name it is your choice whatever you want to give then it will it should extend the extends fragment state adapter this one is the latest if i type here fragment pager adapter you can see it is deprecated so we are going to use fragment state adapter this is the latest one so click here click on implement methods okay then again click here click on create constructor matching super then okay that's it now what i need here i need to declare an array so private string now brackets and then i simply get type here titles so why this is array because it will going to indicate the what name i want to display on my tabs so first name i want to display on my tabs is home so i say take a two curly braces home and then second name i want to display on my tab is movie so hope you understand why i declare this array so here you have to type here new string now what we need here instead of return zero what i need to de declare here title start length that's it and instead of this here what i need here we need to use a switch case so switch position we need to switch position and inside this if the case is zero if the case is zero then according to my array i am on home fragment so i have to return here return new home fragment that's it if the case is one if the case is one then what i have to return return new movie fragment that's it and by default what i want to show on my fragment if the user open the app first time then i have to return new home fragment that's it so you can see new pager fragment adapter is created successfully now let's come inside our main activity dot java and here we have to write only five lines of code minimum and then our tab layout is ready i have to declare a variable of view pager adapter type view pager fragment adapter give any variable name view pager fragment adapter then after this i have to declare a variable of tab layout type and you can also skip this process with the help of data binding or view binding so i already uploaded this video if you don't know what is data binding and how to use data binding so you can watch that videos it will be very helpful you can skip all these process and you can directly implement this so now after this i simply type here view pager 2 equal find view by id r dot id dot view pager this is our xml id name you can confirm it and then tab layout equal find view by id r dot id dot tab layout then after this what we have we have a view pager fragment adapter view pager fragment adapter equal then new view pager fragment adapter inside this we have to pass the context which is this then first of all i want to hide my action bar so i can use get support action bar dot hide this is done now the id casting is successfully now we have to simply run the methods so what we have to do that's it we have to create a we have to type here view pager 2 dot set adapter and inside this we have to pass this view pager fragment adapter this one this is the variable name and this is the class name so hope you understand now we have to show the names on our fragment tab layout and also indicators if someone moving on between fragments so i have to type in new tab 
mediator this one and inside this we have to pass some parameter first parameter is tab layout second parameter is our view page and third tab parameter is our tab bracket take brackets tab position this one press enter it would automatically writing the whole code and after arrow what we have to type here tab dot set text and inside this we have to type here titles position so simply copy this titles array again from here control c copy open your main activity paste this here and now we have to type here titles and now take a bracket square bracket and pass the position of this that's it maybe this is very simple java code maybe you are easily understanding what is going here and simply attach this that's it now our tab layout with fragments and tabs are created successfully so you can see this is very easy method and if you start adapting new things then you will find out how easy to work with new android so now let's check our app whether the app is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video and if it is not working fine then we will solve the error so i press my phone and i press on run button and uh, you can see gradle start building so it will going to build in just 10 seconds so we have to wait only for 10 seconds now the gradle will successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone so now application is going to install and application installed successfully so you can see by default on home fragment if i click on movie i am on movie fragment if i click on home i am on home fragment if i swipe you can see it is also work fine so you can see guys this is very amazing thing in android i just created a tab layout with just five lines of code in main activity how many lines i write three lines these two lines are for for xml id into java ids and you can see this is just two lines and in view page fragment adapter we just create this switch case we this method is overrided and we don't need to type this it is over typed by android studio so i hope guys you like this tutorial if you have any question if you have any query comment down below and please give me some suggestion which you want because it is very difficult to find out which things are deprecated but if you give me suggestion this thing is deprecated so please make a video on it so i will definitely make a video on that topic so please guys like the video please subscribe the channel and please share this video if you have any question just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment and and don't think i am not reading your comment if you are if i am not replying i always read your comment and soon i will try to make a question answer session where i will reply your all comments i write all, i write down all comments in my notebook so i will definitely reply all of them but just give me some time so please guys like the video please subscribe the channel thank you see you soon in next amazing video